It is not clear whether the supporters had come with him or he just found them here by chance stationed outside the Milimani law courts. No matter, he joined them for the obligatory jig as they drummed and sang away. The case of George Aladua, the Nairobi ODM chairman, has again cast the spotlight on how politicians try through all means to evade justice once they have been accused of any crime, for him this time incitement to violence. Today he was here before High Court Judge Joseph Onguto to file a petition seeking to bar the police from arresting him and prosecuting him for the offence of the words he allegedly uttered on Mashuja Day last week. The court allowed him to file the petition and all the parties will come back for a mention on the 30th of November. The petition undertakes not to interfere with the investigations and all witnesses and to appear before the police or investigators and or the chief magistrate when so summoned. What the former Nairobi mayor has been accused of saying is almost as unsurprising as the support he has received from his party, right from the party leader. It is the support or the retreat by politicians back to their communities or their parties once they are accused of offences committed alone that the concerned parties, such as the Commission on Integration and Cohesion, is unhappy with. A meeting to be held today by the EACC, the Director of Public Prosecution, the IEBC and the NCIC didn't take off. It's not clear why, but NTV has learned that some of the issues that were to be discussed at the meeting are the cases of hate speech among politicians which seem to be escalating. Sources indicate that one of the proposals which was to be discussed at the meeting was barring politicians charged with hate speech or incitement to violence from vying for political offices. NCIC in particular has not been pleased with the behavior of politicians. We have not had uh, sufficient political goodwill from both sides of the political divide. That is, those in government and those in opposition have not uh, uh, provided sufficient political goodwill to reconcile the country fully. During the meeting, which was supposed to include the police, NCIC intended to place some of its requests for cooperation. At the moment, it says it doesn't even have enough officers to investigate the offences which it is mandated to keep an eye on. There uh, was a time we provided over 200 policemen with gadgets to monitor, to monitor hit speakers. Uh, most of the officers have been transferred without our knowledge. I don't think replacements have been made and this, the, the commission continues to have very, very little by way of monitoring and enforcement. It is a tricky situation really because some of the worst offenders when it comes to hate speech or incitement to violence are politicians, some of them with the massive following and influence among Kenyans. But being the lawmakers in the land, would they really accept regulations which can bar them from ascending to those offices? Andrew Ochien, NTV.